When navigating through the intense career climb of professional hockey, one hardly thinks of leaving a profitable contract and a thriving career. However, Dustin Bufflin, a formidable figure in the NHL, did exactly that. At his career's peak, he sent shockwaves through the sports fraternity by opting out from fame, praise, and a multi-million dollar agreement. So what does a professional athlete do after making such a decision? What path did Dustin Bufflin follow? And how has he been spending his time post-NHL? Well, let's unravel these mysteries and more in today's video. Without further ado, let's get started. Meet Dustin Bufflin, also known as Big Buff, a unicorn in the NHL. Standing at 6 foot 5 and weighing in at 260 pounds, Bufflin was a human fortress that could send shivers down his opponent's spines just by being there. However, there's so much more to this legend than his intimidating presence. Let's take a deeper look. Perhaps his crowning moment of glory was the unforgettable 2010 Stanley Cup win with the Blackhawks, where he racked up 16 points in 22 playoff games. Some even whisper that he was a strong contender for the Conn Smythe Trophy. Yes, folks, he was that brilliant. And then there was his stint with the Winnipeg Jets, eight years of raw power and athletic brilliance that left fans in awe and opponents with their heads spinning. His physical style of play wasn't just about silencing noisy crowds, but it's fair to say he had a knack for doing that too. And as we all know, in the hockey world, it's a known fact that players are often defined by their positions, forwards, defensemen, goalies. But Bufflin, he was a different breed. He was as comfortable playing forward as he was playing defense, flipping between roles with ease, defying conventional norms. And this was no easy feat. To shift gears in a sport as demanding as hockey requires a unique blend of skills, tenacity, and a hockey IQ that's off the charts. And it wasn't just about the physicality with Big Buff. He brought intelligence and strategy to his game, amassing a commendable 525 points in 869 games over his career. If you're a numbers person, I don't need to tell you, that's some pretty impressive stats. Dustin's approach to the game was truly a thing of beauty. Beyond the statistics, beyond the muscle, and the on-ice heroics, there was an artist at work. His vision and undertaking of the game were second to none, carving openings out of nowhere, spotting passes that others didn't see, and adding a touch of finesse to the brute force. It was a blend of the physical and the intellectual, a testament to his unique style of play that kept fans on the edge of their seats and opponents constantly on their toes. So with such a brilliant career, a game that was on fire, and a sizable contract, what made Bufflin hang up his skates? We're just getting warmed up, so make sure to stick around. For a guy like Big Buff, life in the NHL wasn't always smooth skating. On the ice, Bufflin's intense physical play was his biggest strength and source of criticism. A titanic of a player, he could change the game with a single crushing hit or a booming shot from the point. But sometimes, he crossed the line. His controversial hits made headlines, and he attracted the wrath of both opposing teams and league officials. Off the ice, Dustin wasn't shy about ruffling feathers either. He marched to the beat of his own drum, which wasn't always in tune with his team or the league. The surprise decision to terminate his contract with the Jets was just just the tip of the iceberg. There were even reports of disagreements with coaches and incidents that drew scrutiny. But through it all, Bufflin stood tall, never letting the challenges or controversies define him, which is a testament to his resilience. Then this happened. Dustin Bufflin's exit from the NHL wasn't your typical retirement story. It was like one of those plot twists you'd expect in a Hollywood movie. You see, in the summer of 2019, Buff did something that had fans, players, and everyone who knew anything about hockey scratching their heads. He walked into the office of the Winnipeg Jets GM, and instead of discussing game strategies or new plays, he wanted to talk about the termination of his contract. You heard that right. Buff was ready to call it quits. And this wasn't some end of his career past his prime retirement. No. We're talking about a key piece of the Jets making a conscious decision to leave the game he loved. He decided to step away from the icy battles, the team spirit in the locker room, and the adrenaline surge of the sport. In the process, he turned his back on a staggering $14 million. His retirement sparked a serious debate in the sporting world. Many question, how could someone at the peak of their career choose to walk away? But perhaps we're asking the wrong question. Maybe the focus should be on the sheer courage it takes to listen to oneself, to prioritize 
prioritized personal happiness over professional achievement. For the man himself, the decision was never attached to financial considerations. It was a move towards personal happiness, mental peace, and an opportunity to take a pause from the sport that shaped his life. Quite the whirlwind, huh? But hold on to your hats, because the story takes an even more unexpected turn. Life after NHL for Dustin Bufflin has been everything but dull. You see, Bufflin traded his hockey stick for a fishing rod, choosing to take on the calm of the lake rather than the chaotic frenzy of a heated NHL game. This isn't a metaphor, folks. He actually took part in a fishing tournament earlier this summer, proving that he could also make headlines off the ice. Does he long for the exhilarating rush of the game, the electrifying moment when the puck hits the net, the thunderous applause for the crowd, the bonds he formed in the locker room? In a surprising revelation, Bufflin says he doesn't. That chapter's been written and closed. He's embraced quieter pursuits and found relief in them. But don't think for a second that he's abandoned hockey completely. There's more to his story that might just leave you astounded. In the athletic world, retirements can often be as short as a fleeting sunrise in the winter. Nobody exemplifies this more than Dustin Bufflin himself. One moment, the NHL lost the mighty buff. He seemed to have packed up his skates for good. Fast forward three years, and in an exciting turn of events, he's back on the ice, reigniting his powerful performance once more. No folks, this isn't a work of fiction or a fantastical story. It's real life. Things took a dramatic twist when Bufflin got a call from ex-Jets captain Andrew Ladd. Perhaps it was the homesickness or simply the lure of the game, but this call brought our man back to the ice, decked out in full gear. And when Ladd shared a snapshot of Bufflin back on the ice on social media, the digital world went into a frenzy. The image of Bufflin back in his natural habitat sparked a digital wildfire that had fans and followers buzzing with delight and surprise. The reactions were diverse, but the consensus was clear. Fans were overjoyed to see Big Buff back on the ice. Now you might be wondering, is Bufflin eyeing a professional comeback? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Remember, this man walked away from the game and a cool $14 million on his own terms, prioritizing his happiness over everything else. As he nears his 38th birthday, a full-blown return to the NHL might not be on the cards. But he surely has a legacy in the NHL world, one that we can never forget. Dustin Bufflin isn't just a name in the ledger of hockey's finest. His saga surpasses the boundaries of slap shots, stick handling skills, and Stanley Cup victories. With Buff you get a saga of an athlete who genuinely redefined the contours of the sport. His gigantic size, coupled with his ability to shift the momentum of a game with his physicality, etched an indelible mark on the NHL. But Big Buff's legacy isn't merely defined by his on-ice contributions. His choice to retire, stepping away from the game he adored, and foregoing a lucrative payday rippled across the sports universe. It was a bold affirmation of his character. He placed mental health and personal happiness above financial gain or professional recognition. His bold choice wasn't an act of vainness. Bufflin sent a resounding message to fellow athletes. It's entirely okay to prioritize your wellness, even if it implies stepping out of the limelight. And let's not forget the fans, the ardent hockey enthusiasts who rallied behind him, match after match, season after season. To them, Big Buff was more than just an athlete. He was an icon, a hero who devoted everything to the sport and the teams he represented. It's fair to say that Bufflin's retirement left a void in their hearts. Yet, even if not professionally, his unexpected comeback to the rink reignited the flame of joy and thrill among those who yearned to see him in action again. As we wrap up, we have a question. How do you perceive Bufflin's bold choice to place his personal joy above his professional life? Was it the right decision for him at the time? And well, what intrigued you the most about him? Comment down below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Goodbye.